I'd like to use the services here. Sir, take your bag out of my face and stop creating a disturbance. I beg your pardon, you're videotaping in a public space where you're actually not really supposed to be doing that. Hey, you already did. You already did. You you're me. ignorant of the law, sir, and that's not the way it works. If I see my, my image out on the internet... What are you going to do about it? Can I just ask your name and badge number, please? Uh, Trahan, 7514. 7514? Yeah. Thank you very much. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. We are coming to you today from Austin, Texas. Uh, we are at a U.S. post office here in Austin. And uh, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas and public places. Um, I am out with watching the watchman today who is over here behind a bush doing his intro and uh let me just give you a little look at the neighborhood here uh while i'm doing that today is april 1st thursday it is 12 15 in the afternoon and it is 64 degrees sunny and beautiful in austin texas How you doing today, Watchman? Uh, Want to go down to the uh, crosswalk? Sure. Texas has some very strict uh, pedestrian rules, so we are uh, very strictly adhering to them. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Appreciate your support, as always. You can see the palm trees are all dead here in this neighborhood because of, uh, in this whole area, because of the uh, freeze they had down here not long ago. Most of the palm trees apparently didn't make it. So we have an alleyway that runs behind the post office here. I was just trying to figure that out because we have to get a couple of shots of the loading dock here for you. Out here by the dumpster and then we got the big Connex box out back. And then um, all of the letters and stuff on the side of the building. Can I help you guys with something? Sorry? Can I help you with something? No, not at all. Thank you. What, what Appreciate it. I'm sorry? What are we doing? Well, I'm trying to take a video. I can't, I'm having trouble hearing you, sir. I said it's a postal facility and there's no photography allowed. It's a postal facility and there's no photography allowed? Federal facility, you're not supposed to take pictures of Not supposed to take pictures of a federal facility. Who told you that? That's federal law. No, you're mistaken. I don't believe so. That's not federal law. You might want to check. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? Uh, yeah, my name is Dino. I'm a supervisor here. Dino, the supervisor. Okay. Yeah, you should know better than that, Dino. Maybe check with the uh, postmaster. Do you have something from the postmaster? I'm having a hard time hearing you. I'm sorry. Do you have something from the postmaster? Do I have something from the postmaster? No. Are you, I mean, I, I guess I'm just trying to figure out why you're videoing the station. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just doing what I do. Uh, but you shouldn't be giving out bad information. You're perfectly, there's, there is no reason I can't take pictures of a federal facility. Well, you could be doing the same thing. I work here. Why would I do that? I don't know. I, I'm just walking around taking video. Why would I do that? 
Yeah. I think the guy you got to worry about doing that, you're probably not going to see him before he gets here. It's not going to be me. It's not going to be a guy walking around with a two-foot stick making himself obvious out in the daylight. You never know. I guess you don't. You never know. I guess each and every time you cross the street, you get hit by a car, you never know. That's very true. Yeah, so, but I, I tend not to uh, walk around in fear. I don't know. I'm just living, just living my life, doing my thing, man. Okay, well, you do what you got to do. All right. So anyway, back to what we were uh, doing here. I think it actually would be more likely to be him doing something like that. Postal employees. Yeah. Yeah, you don't very often uh, on the news hear about photographers going rogue and like uh, doing anything dangerous. Postal employees, on the other hand. And actually, now that I'm noticing, which you usually point out, I don't even see any uh, no trespassing signs out here. Where is it? So what does that mean? The whole property? What is that designating? Just this area? It's kind of a strange spot for a sign. Well, so, uh, you know, towing enforced. Let me just get a shot of this, sorry, Watchman. And then this is the sign Watchman's referring to here. But, uh, yeah. So the supervisor of the post office actually believes that it's illegal to take pictures of a federal building. Yeah. <laughs> March 7th, 2019. So yeah, um, they awarded me this job even though I, if you scroll all the way down, I signed in the block that says indefinite. So this is the uh, North Austin station. And evidently heroes work here. And we always like to take a moment to recognize old Glory, waving in the breeze as she should. P-O-W, M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. I'll give you a shot of the sign here. And you know what's funny? If he uh, thinks we're not allowed to take any pictures on the outside, wait until we go in. Yeah. So let's see what kind of signs we have here on the doors. So, recommended. No pets. No issues there. It says recommended on this one. And uh, what else do we have here? That's it. All right, so let's go take a look. Sir, are you familiar with this document right here hanging on your wall? Poster 7, Rules and Regulations of Governing Conduct on Postal Property. Right. Photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes are explicitly allowed inside well, and outside the building. Back there. Well, you're the supervisor of the facility. You should know that better than I, I do. I understand that, and I assume you're just taking pictures. I don't know you're doing that unless you tell me. I asked you out back what you were taking pictures of. No, what well, you, you told me, you told me, it, you told me it was illegal to Are take pictures of a federal building. It is. It's not. You're looking at your rules right here, sir. For commercial purposes. Are you making a commercial? Am I making a commercial? No, That's not what commercial what purposes means. I know you're trying to sell the building. What are we doing? No, I'm not trying to sell the building, but I, I can assure you I fall into that category. Well, can I see a document or something? Can I see some ID? There's your document. Can I see some ID? You don't need ID. There's no need for ID. And I assure you, I mean, if you want to have a civil conversation about I, it, I, I can explain. To, I can, you yeah, sure. So I, I can explain to you what the law is, if you're interested in that. If you stop telling me what it's what it's not, I'd be happy to tell you what it is. Okay, tell me what it is. Okay, so as it states here, photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, but you don't have an auditorium here, except where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel. Right? 
There's other, also other, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster. Or that's other can. photographs. I fall under the first part of that. Can I see something to show you that? that there, I don't. There is nothing. What What would I show you? I don't know. A letter from the postmaster says you can be here. I don't need a letter from the postmaster. I'm going to ask you to leave, please. Well, I would. If I was you, I would call the postmaster. I'm trying to. Okay, I'll wait for you to call. Because I need to get some video of the rest of the building, but I'll let you confirm it first. There's also a DHS memo, Department of Homeland Security, dated 2018, which gives us explicit permission to videotape outside and inside yeah, of yeah, federal who, buildings. Who? The Department of Homeland Security gives yeah. any member of the public the right to photograph inside or outside as long as you're not in a restricted area. It originally was released in 2010, completely redacted. They unredacted it in 2018 and re-released it. And you can look that up on uh, Google. If you just Google DHS memo on photography 2018, it'll come right up. And I'm sure your postmaster's aware. No, I'm just, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time. No, no, I, Man, we'll, we'll all learn something yeah, today, yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So is this oh, about shit, wearing masks and... Keep no, it has nothing masks. to do with that. You keep taking signs of those, the mass signs. No, I took actually took photographs of all the signs on the building. That's actually what we're doing. We're doing a sign inspection. By who? Who do you work for? Well, we'll work that out with the supervisor here. Answer your oh, and take your time. I'm in no rush. Oh, no. And you're being very cordial and professional. I appreciate oh, that. To be, yeah. No, you definitely are. I appreciate you. I just don't want you to give out bad information. That's all. And I've done that once or twice in my life too. So you know, we have to have to learn what the truth is and what the reality is. I didn't cut in front of you. No, I'm okay. I'm here. Okay. You said your name was Dean. I think Bernardino is a much cooler name. No, I'll go by Dino. Huh. It's just easier for people. There you go. Stan, Stan this is Dino. I, I have a situation here. I got a couple of guys with GoPro cameras walking around the station, taking video. They're inside my lobby. No, they're not. They're not. They're not with him. No. Yeah, and they're really not identifying themselves. And they don't have anything. They don't have anything. Uh huh. So the lobby and the outside of the building is fine. But not in the not in the retail area. That's incorrect. Okay, well now he's I actually have to go in and buy a stamp, so I have business here as well. But you can't video with it. Sure, you can. Okay. Now if you re read your poster seven, you certainly can. I did read it. Now they're 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 going to try to go in there and buy a stamp and video. Well, I've already told them that stamp. Is it okay if I speak to your postmaster? Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm going to let him talk to you, okay? I'll put it on speaker so I don't press my face up against no, your phone. Okay, yeah, is it Stan? Yeah, this is the area manager for Austin. I'm gonna, what's the name of your company in the first place? Oh, I'm not with the company, sir. Okay. Uh, what, what I'm doing is, is I'm just... Uh, here to buy a stamp. I'm doing an inspection of the signs here at the post office, and uh, we video our uh, our business here while we're here. Um, now you do you have? Video the transaction. Oh, I'm not interested in videoing anybody's transactions except for my own. Or any transaction, you can't video that. Well, I can video. Sure, I can. I can videotape my own transaction. <laughs> I'm not interested in any what any of the other customers are doing here, but. Um, your poster seven hanging on the wall here gives me explicit permission to do what I'm doing, as well as a DHS memo that was re released in 2018. Okay, uh, hang on a sec. Can okay. you hang on? Absolutely, sir. Thank you. And I appreciate you making the phone call. And no, no, that's, 
trying to find I'll, out what the deal I'll is. Yeah. Do my job correctly. Absolutely, sir. I appreciate that. So just one. Okay, that's all I needed. I just wanted to make sure. What's this for? And I don't want to be on your video. What's it for? Well, you weren't on my video until you just included yourself. So if you don't want to be on my video, just go about your business. Yes, sir. Okay, I got my uh, retail marketing specialist here, and she's going to explain the, the regulations to you. She could tell me what she thinks. Can you ask this man to please stop causing a disturbance, please? I'm not, I okay. have no, there's no, Excuse me. Hello, can you hear me? Dean, can you please ask this gentleman to stop? No, I'd like to use the services here. Sir, take your bag out of my face and stop creating a disturbance. I beg your pardon, you're videotaping in a public space where you're actually not really supposed to be doing that. I'm trying to use a service that is available to me in a federal facility. You done now? I'm trying to speak with the postmaster, are you through? Okay, hello, sir? Yes. Okay, so so you're wanting a video tape of your transaction, is that what you're asking for? Ma'am, you have poster seven hanging on your wall, with, which gives me explicit permission to do what I'm doing. And there's also a Department of Homeland Security memo from 2018, which gives me explicit permission to go on. Okay, I, I was I was told you were wanting you were wanting video from us. Are you just videoing in the lobby? I do not want any video from you. I'm just taking my own video of my own business oh, and my yes, own transaction. That, okay, then um, yes, we cannot tell you not to video, sir. Okay, then um, yes, we cannot tell you not to video, sir. Correct. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. You have a good day, ma'am. You too. Bye-bye. We all clear? Okay. Well, if you have me in any of your footage, you don't have permission to do anything. I don't need your permission, ma'am. You're in public. You're on federal property. There is no expectation of privacy in public, and I'm very well who versed. Who do you work for? I'm very well versed in the law, and I know what I'm doing. For? You're an ass, but who do you work for? I'm an ass? Yes. You have a wonderful day, ma'am. Stirring it up, aren't you? I don't know. Somebody's stirring it up. Well, fuck you are. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. I guess George Washington and the boys stirred it up too, huh? Depends what you're stirring it up for, is what the well, important question is. Go, if you want to ask me that question, I'd be happy to explain it to you. Point that you're stirring it up. See, I would have been happy to tell you what I'm doing if you would have asked, but you already know, so there's no reason well, in explaining it. Sure, I did. I told him exactly what I'm doing. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I just spoke to the person in charge of those rules and regulations, and she confirmed I'm right. Well, you locked like, like those rules and regulations. You just came in here to argue and stir it up, didn't you? I didn't start a conversation with you, sir. You started the conversation with me. So let's keep it straight. Let's keep it real, buddy. Value your rights. They're like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they go away. Don't be putting me on no camera. No, 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 no. Ma'am, check with your postmaster supervisor, please. Wow, this country's in a mess, and you're all helping it. I appreciate that. Now well, then, go find a job in the public, in the private sector, ma'am. You choose to work for the public. You put yourself in the public. You're on 18 cameras as it is. You're 19 now. Very good. Hey, congratulations. That's your First Amendment right, and I celebrate your joining the club. the rest of us. We don't work here. Ma'am, please speak to the supervisor. I'm not interested in creating a disturbance. Well, I'm not interested in... You already did. You already did. You already did. You already did. You're ignorant of the law, sir, and that's not the way it works. Now, if, you, if I see my, my image out on the internet... What are you going to do about it? I'm going to try to find the source of it. And then do what? And then... What? I would, if I was you, I wouldn't waste my time. I'd go outside and listen well, to the birds sing and look at the sunshine and enjoy your life. Bullshit. Well, nobody's asking you to. Nobody's asked me to do that. Uh, yeah, they are. They. Yeah. they. There are many, many people that oh, are asking yeah. me to do what I do. Yeah, sure. It's a celebration of ignorance at the North Austin Post Office today. What you people don't understand is, is that I'm here. I'm here for you. You don't understand what I'm doing, and you don't even want to know. You should ask questions, but instead you start spewing profanities. <laughs> you go home and kiss your husband with that mouth? That's real nice. Start cur You're worried about him in a public place and you're cursing like a truck driver? Excuse me? There is no excuse for you. Just go back to your business. Don't start with me, ma'am. I'm not interested in having the time. I'm not even no, yes, interested are. in talking to you. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are.
Because you're creating a whole situation. No, not at all. I'm here to buy a stamp. I could have easily walked in with a secret camera you didn't even see and done the same thing. Not trying to secret myself, and I'm just living my life. I suggest everyone else do the same. So now what we're going to get to denial of service. That'll be next. People don't realize they're on cameras all day long, everywhere they go. It's a new age. Let's go find Dean and find out why all the clerks have abandoned their post. <clears throat> they literally just all left. Yeah. Amazing. Now I just got out of my car and the woman said, have fun in there. I don't know what everybody's issue is with the camera. Doesn't make any sense to me. What you do is change the address and. I just need to buy a stamp and I would have been gone. Really? Yeah. That's all I'm looking to do is buy a stamp. You can buy stamps right there. Yeah, I need to get a receipt from her and document my purchase. Oh, Hey, Dean. Oh, there it is. Dean, excuse me. Yeah. Could you just let they, everybody at the desk just abandon their post? You have a line out here. Nobody's selling anybody anything. Huh? So it's interesting because they actually just called the postmaster who spoke to the person in charge of media here at the post office. Yeah. They both confirmed that we're allowed to do what we're doing legally. Yeah. And then this happens. It's fascinating. <laughs> it's tricky, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are we still living in like a Trump world? Like seriously, this. You know what? It's not even about any of that. I know, but I'm just. Yeah. It has nothing to do with politics. That's the, the distraction you're being fed. Uh, We're all just human what, beings what, trying to live our lives and be free, right? That's all it is. I don't care which side of the fence you're on. You're, a, you're an American citizen and you're a human being and you deserve to live your life in freedom. And get stamps. Yes, ma'am. And change of addresses and whatever else you need to do. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, they usually have those cards right out there somewhere, huh? Are we coming back to work, ladies, so I can get out of here? I don't want to. Hmm? I want you to stay right there. I'm not looking to hang out here all day. You want me to stay right here? All right, good. That's perfect. So then he'll get an education too. So let's go outside and wait for the sheriff who's now on the way here. Amazing. And uh, we'll explain it to them too. Talk to uh, whatever supervisor. Yeah, we go inside. We inform the supervisor of our right to be here. Um, he gets on the phone with the postmaster. Postmaster wasn't really sure what they were saying. Their media person got on the phone with us confirmed the fact, confirmed what we're doing, asked me specifically, I explained it to them, told us that we're allowed to be here, and they've decided to go ahead and call the sheriff. So we'll wait for the sheriff to get here and we'll uh, educate the sheriff as well.
I really believe that once we just made that phone call, we were going to go inside, buy our stamp, be on our merry way. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing that there's still an issue after that. Yeah. And then you have customers yelling and screaming at us. No issues with that. But they'll say we were creating a disturbance. So this is why you videotape. I mean, outside of YouTube, this is why you have to record everything. Uh, because you have no idea how many people have been saved by a recording. So record your daily activities, guys. If you're going to go out and you choose to do this auditing type of stuff, because I know some of you are thinking about it, educate yourself on the law. Information is power. You have to know what you're doing. Don't cross those lines. Make sure you're very... Uh, very judicious in your actions and uh, record everything. Um, but hopefully we get a sheriff here who understands the constitution, values his own rights as well as ours and yours and stands up for what's right. And uh, we've already got confirmation from the postal uh, authorities here. So I don't see what the issue is. So uh, this ought to be interesting, stand by. Ma'am, I'd still be happy to tell you what we're doing if you're interested. You might actually appreciate what I'm doing if I explain myself to you. You know what? I would love to get, but can you get it? Can you turn off the camera? Well, with all this that's going on, I can't. I really, I honestly can't because now it's but, for my personal but I don't protection. Want to be on camera. Well, when I go back and edit it, I will uh, try how, to. How do I trust you? Edit, well, I'm offering to tell you what I'm doing here. So you're gonna educate me. Uh, well, I, you know, I, you know you, what? As an educator. Okay. I believe in education. Okay. So go ahead, educate me. Okay, so what this is, is a First Amendment audit. First Amendment audit. Okay, what we do is, this is my son. We've been traveling... I'm sorry for you. I feel so bad for you, by the way. Well, you don't even know what I'm doing yet. Maybe you so, shouldn't. So no, no, we've, been, no, no. We've, we've driven 31,000 miles and been to 30 states in the past 18 months defending the Constitution of the United States. That's what we do. And who are you, um, like, representing? I represent the people of the United States. But I didn't give you permission to do that. A lot of people here do not like we're we're not giving you authority. Do you want me to explain that to you? The way it works in public is as long as you are standing somewhere where you're allowed to be, you are allowed to videotape anything your eyes can see. That's the law. That's the way it works. And the sheriff will confirm that for him when he gets here. Okay. Um, and we're not looking for anybody's personal information. We're not looking to cause any disturbances, but what we this is an exercise of rights because rights are like muscles, and if you don't exercise them, they go away. Yeah. That's what that is. Okay. So that's why we're here. We're here to defend so the Constitution doing, of the United States. We're traveling around the country. Exercising our First Amendment right to take video in public places. The people of the United States. Yes, ma'am. Doing an audit. And yes, ma'am. You're saying that this particular North Austin Station Post Office is not doing its job no i'm here to find out if they are or not i don't know if they're doing their job i don't know what they're doing so we're just here to see what happens and whatever happens happens but that's the way it goes my videos just so you don't think i'm doing this for myself my videos get over a hundred thousand views a day we still don't know who you are well you will know who i am and if you're still here after this is all wrapped up i'll give you my name all my information everything you want I'm not hiding myself. I'm not, I have no reason to hide I, myself. I know, but, the FBI knows who I am. Law enforcement knows who I am. Everybody knows who I am. I'm not hiding myself, ma'am, and I'm not trying to secret myself. I have a two-foot stick in my hand with two cameras making myself very obvious what I'm doing. The front of my camera is blinking, telling you that I'm recording. I'm not trying to secret myself. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's day. I'm standing here. Up, I'm standing up for your rights, even though you may not realize it. Yeah, I know, but, but I didn't... I, I... Being on camera is the least of your concerns with everything that's going on in this world. We are surveilled all the time. We are surveilled too much. That's Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And you're right. Most of the cameras are hidden. I know this. Yes, ma'am. I know this. But I also don't understand why. I mean, these people are... Because they're federal employees. But they're trying to survive like everyone else. Right. So... I can't tell you how many post offices I've gone into, done this exact thing. They give us smiles, sell me my stamp, I leave, and there's no issue. So because That's they, the law. Because they refused the denial of service. No, they didn't deny me service. The supervisor, Dean, called the postmaster, and the postmaster told him I'm completely within my rights and to leave me alone. And then he decided to call the sheriff on us. That's all on video. 
You can ask Dean, he's standing right there. The supervisor of the post office called the postmaster, got the media relations person for this post, post office on the phone with him and they both confirmed that we're completely within our rights and said, go ahead and do what you're doing. You know what? Can I, can I make, state my opinion? Yes, ma'am. In terms of what you're doing? Yes, ma'am. First Amendment rights in relationship to these federal um, employees and the, they're doing their job. This okay. is you're auditing them. Like you are picking on like No, 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 I'm not picking on them. They're picking no, on me. No, they're not. I'm not picking on them. Like, there are, this is all about government accountability and transparency, there are, man. There's so many other things going on in this country and you choose to focus on this little post office. No, I go to FBI buildings, jails, prisons, police departments, post offices, city halls, county up buildings, courthouses. We've been in 30 states in the past 18 months, and we've driven 31,000 miles defending the Constitution of the United States on my own dime. They're next. Don't waste your time. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, you're wearing a mask outdoors, and I'm nuts. I just came out of there, sir, and I'm going to take it off. You know okay, what? Okay, well, why don't you move to North Korea, and they'll, they're ready for you. Oh, okay, this is what no, this is. No, I'm on 74. Right. I lived through the 60s. You do not need to talk to these people. Yeah, you're right. You lived through the 60s. Right. If you were there, you wouldn't even remember it. You are such a mean, so See, but this is what happens when I explain myself to people. So you don't value our constitution. You should get out of here and go move to, they're already locking people up in Canada. Go to Canada. You don't value your freedom. You don't want to stand up for what's right. Then go somewhere else. Oh my God. I'm not afraid to stand you up for what's right. You don't really want me to start talking about this country. Well, this country's giving you and your family everything that you have, ma'am. That I have a fucking husband. What do you assume that I have a family? Don't make assumptions you don't know anything about. You don't have a family, so you weren't born to anyone? You don't have brothers or you sisters? You don't have family? Now you're now you're picking so, on me. I do I do have something to say. Sure. Yes, ma'am. This is just because we live in Texas and as Texas people we're friendly, we're nice to each other. Yes, ma'am. But you're causing a problem. And I don't know why or... Well, I just explained it to this young lady and I evidently wasted my breath for five minutes, but I'd be happy to tell you what I'm doing, if you're interested. Okay, so I'll go through the whole thing again. This is my son, okay? We've been traveling the country for 18 months. We've logged over 31,000 miles on the road. That's a lot. On my own dime, this is the 30th state we've been in. you just tired? Defending the Constitution of the United States. That's okay. what we're doing. This is an exercise of rights. It's a First Amendment audit. Sure. That's what we're doing. So what exactly was the amendment or the constitution that was being broken here today that you're having Well, so far, so far nothing. So far, we went inside. Dean, the, the supervisor of the post office, sure. didn't know if we were allowed to be here or not. Very uh, cordial, professional gentleman. Okay. He called the postmaster, who then also got the media relations yes, person on the phone. And they both verified that we are allowed to be here and yeah, videotape our... Course. So all I wanted to do was buy a stamp, document my purchase, and leave. Okay. So who's being harassed? Okay. Um, maybe it's If I'm acting within my rights and within the law, who's being okay. harassed? Well, I understand that side of it. Okay. But at the same time, too, there's a lot of females in there. And maybe it just made them a little uncomfortable. A lot of females? That's a little sexist. I'm surprised you would even say that. Right? I think okay. you just caught yourself. Let's backtrack. I'll, I'll, I'll edit no, that out for let's you. Let's not do that. Because actually, you're being a misogynist. Okay, I'm going to walk away because you're, you're going to get angry. So I'm just going to leave no, you with no, that. No. Sweetheart, I'm not gonna get angry. have a wonderful oh, day, please. Sweetheart. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. God bless you. Smile. The birds are singing. The sun is shining. Have a wonderful good day. Stamp, okay. You're not gonna get inside there. All right. Good luck when your rights get taken away because you're not going to get them back. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Clueless. Oh, here we go. So we have the uh, police. I thought we I thought we called the sheriff. I, don't know. I guess they don't know the difference. Probably not. That's just a little bit there. I called the sheriff. Yeah, it could be like uh, that kind of thing. How are we doing, sir? You know why we're here? I have no idea. Yes, oh, I can tell you exactly why you're here. Why? How are you, sir? I tried to call the complainant, but I didn't answer. So, my name is Jason. 
Can I just ask your name and badge number, please? Uh, Trahan, 7514. 7514? Yeah. Thank you very much. So, this is my son. Uh -huh. Okay, so we came here today to take a look at the post office, go inside and buy a stamp. Okay. Uh, Dean, who is the supervisor of the post office, wasn't sure whether we were, were allowed to videotape inside the property or not. Uh, so he called up the postmaster, and this is all on video. Okay. He called, is your body camera running? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So he called the postmaster. Postmaster got the media relations person on the phone, and they both told Dean Their that- Their media relations person? Yes. Wow. And, the, and they both told Dean that we are allowed to take video inside the yeah, lobby, you document with, uh, See what they want to do, or? Speak to Dean, who's the supervisor. He'll tell you the whole story. Is that Dean? No, Dean's inside. He's, a, he's right behind the counter there, inside the window. Um, so their higher ups, being the postmaster, their media relations, confirm that we are allowed to be here. It is our right and it is lawful. Sure, so we here. were in line to get a stamp, okay. and they decided to call you. Yeah, I tried and that's to call what we're doing. Them, so I don't know. Let's go find out what they're doing. Yeah, so let's go to the chat. Dean is the supervisor, correct? And Dean called the postmaster and spoke to the media relations person, and you were it verified that we are within our rights, correct, Dean? And then you decided to call the police on us. I didn't call the police. Somebody did. Not me. Yeah, yeah. I called whoever it was to call the police, but they didn't answer. So, so you guys, you guys I, guarantee, I guarantee you it was not me. Do you guys need us then? Uh, not, I didn't call you. Okay. I, I did not call Well, more importantly, no, officer. I would just like Dean to let you know, did we speak to the postmaster and the media relations person who verified I'm allowed to be here? to the operations manager and the, the, the uh, customer relations person. And they said I am allowed to do what yeah, I'm doing. They are allowed to video on the facility. They are allowed to video on the facility. There you go. All right. I'm sorry they wasted your time, gentlemen. We have a lot of things going on, so. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and I'm sorry to take you away. I'm sorry to waste no, resources okay. and take you away from what thing. you're doing. Thank you. And be very truthful because we've documented everything on camera, so don't lie about anything. That's all I'm suggesting. I'm not saying you are. All I want to do is buy a stamp. Do you want to go buy your stamp? Oh, I'm going to, yeah. Oh, okay. And can I just ask name and badge number so I know who was here, please? Canon 8514. Thank you very much. And both of you, I appreciate your courtesy and professionalism. It means a lot. And I'm just going to ask you a question real quick just for argument's sake here. Well, not argument's sake. That's a bad word. But question I always ask police officers, okay, because I'm assuming you're one of the good guys because you're coming across that way. Okay. Okay. Try to be. What do you think a good police officer's worst enemy is in this world? Well, I don't think I'm going to get into, like, interviewing. It's a very quick, no, 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 it's a very quick, and I'll, a rhetorical statement, I'll answer it for you. No, a, what's your answer? A bad cop. Yeah, that's, that's, that's. Right? Because they're not doing you any favors. For sure. And we value good law enforcement. We support good law enforcement. Good. We're not down with any of that defund the police crap. A matter of fact, I think you guys need more money for more training, more... Thank you. Yeah, more education because it's a very fast changing world. And you seem like you're very outspoken. It would be a good person to, to, to really talk about that. Yeah. Oh, we do. No, I, I I have a channel on YouTube. I get over 100,000 views a day. Nice. What is it? So plenty of people are going to see it. I'll give it to you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Okay. Well, you know what you do? Just tomorrow when you get up and you're looking at YouTube, just get on YouTube and just put in North Austin Post Office okay. and you'll see the video. Cool. But I sincerely hope that you guys are two of the good guys you came across that well, way I train, today. I train her, so okay. we're both good. Well, we support you, and we hope uh, you do that. But do me a, all I'm going to say is two things, and then I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Honor your oath and weed out the bad guys because they're not doing you any favors. I'm with you. I've been training cops for 15 years. Have a great day. Thank you very much. We appreciate you, sir. Well, now the police have confirmed everything for you. There's no one left to call. Nothing left to do except sell me a stamp and I'm out of here. And I appreciate you, ma'am. I appreciate you looking out for your post office and doing what you do. I'm not giving you a hard time and I, I hope you understand that. We're here for you as well. You may not understand what we're doing, but you will. And we're, we're here defending your rights as well as our own rights. That's all it is. No, thank you. I appreciate you. Here. How are you today, ma'am? Good, how are you? Can I just have one stamp, please? Mm -hmm. 55 cents. Yes, ma'am, and I'll take the receipt with that if you would, please. Goes into our uh, scrapbook for our travels.
Forty-five cents is your change. Thank you, Susie. Survey, and then there's your stamp. Thank you very much, and I You're appreciate welcome. your smile. I can see it under your mask. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. You have a good day. Appreciate you. All right, so there goes the uh, police department. Getting back to uh, more important business. I got my uh, stamp, got my receipt, as usual. And uh, I'm not saying it's going to take root or grow into anything here, but uh, we definitely did uh, get a little education value here today at the post office and uh, educated some of the folks that work here. And I hope it takes hold and I hope they uh, learned a lesson here today. Uh, it's not a good idea to try to violate people's rights. And it's not a good idea to tell people things are illegal that are not. And it's not a good idea to uh, become confrontational with people when they're not being confrontational. Uh, we're not looking for issues here today. Those of you who follow our channel know what we do and how we do it. And uh, I'm glad it all worked out the way it did. And I'm glad that the uh, postmaster and the operations manager uh, were able to uh, put their heads together and figure out that we are okay doing what we're doing. And I'm glad the police showed up and had no issue. Um, evidently, it must have been a patron that called because the post office is saying they didn't call, um, which is probably true, uh, being that Dean was informed by his higher ups that we were allowed to be here. So I would assume that's probably the truth. Uh, but again, guys, all's well that ends well. Um, hopefully, uh, this won't happen here again, but you never know. So if any of you live in the Austin area, uh, North Austin, and you're in this neighborhood, and you want to come down and visit this post office with your cameras, uh, again, if you're going to do that, educate yourselves, know the local laws and uh, restrictions, and, and educate yourself with Poster 7 and find everything out that you need to know before you do it. Be courteous. Be professional and document everything. Do not shut your cameras off once you get here if you're going to do it. But I would invite any of you to come down here, maybe give them a few days a week, and uh, find out if they've learned a lesson and, or if the same thing's going on here. Uh, it be interesting to know uh, because obviously we're not going to be in Austin, Texas. Um, so that's it. Um, always like to remind you guys, if you like our videos, you, uh, you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff gets our videos out to more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Um, I know I'm out here getting an education every day with the Watchmen, and uh, I hope some other folks are learning something here too. Um, I also invite you to do the same for his channel. Uh, he's doing great. He is uh, putting a lot of work into his videos. He's really coming into his own. And for those of you who don't know, he's my son. I said it in the video a couple of times. I'm very proud of him and very proud of the work he's doing standing up for all of us. And I uh, hope you are too. So uh, if you're so inclined, please visit it, uh, his channel. I'll leave a link in the description and show him some love. Um, but that's it. I guess we're going to uh, hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Texas. Uh, it's been a fun trip. The weather's great. The day is early. And uh, yeah. So coming to you from the United States Post Office in North Austin, Texas, watching the Watchmen. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.